$130 and I found several good items that I definitely wanted to share with y'all. So grab a snack, a drink, and let's get started. Hey guys, my name is Vanessa and I love the Dollar Tree. And public service announcement, if you do not like shopping at the Dollar Tree, just stop watching this video right now. This video is not for you. Maybe I have some other videos here on my channel that would motivate and inspire you in some form of your life, but this one is probably not gonna do that. So don't let the negativity get to you and just click off right now. But if you guys love the Dollar Tree, you are definitely going to love this haul. Now I am in a larger family. There are six of us. So when I purchase things at the Dollar Tree, it quickly adds up. But I did find some good things that I wanted to share with you guys. And $130, I feel like this is one of my bigger ones for sure. So I'm gonna show you guys everything because there's some items in here that are just random little things, but I wanted to show you guys exactly what $130 got me. And let me tell you the tax, because I know tax is different everywhere. So I picked up 124 items. So it was $124, and then my sales tax was $982. So $133.82 was my total. I got some things for Valentine's Day. I got some things for like, spring break when the kids are home, some things that I might hang on to for Easter. I definitely love picking up things ahead of time. It helps break up the purchases a little bit. And I only go to the Dollar Tree, um, or I'm only planning on going to the Dollar Tree about once a month now that the bigger holiday is over. In November and December, I go maybe once a week to once every two weeks and you guys see that on my channel because I love sharing with you every time I go but now that like the crazy holidays are over I only go about once a month and those typically are bigger hauls so I will I like to talk if you guys are not new you know that so this is going to be a little bit so like I said earlier grab a drink put it on one and a half speed <laughs> whatever you need to do to get through this and let me show you guys everything that I picked up all right, so sometimes I organize things, but since this is so much, I'm just gonna pull out how it was bagged and it might just be all over the place. So speaking of bags, I did pick up two new ones. Um, I have a good collection of reusable bags and I have gotten pretty good at using them at stores, putting them in my car when I'm leaving, and quick tip, don't put them in your trunk. That's what I used to do. I used to keep my bags in the trunk but I would always forget to take them out before I went in the store. So what I do now is I keep them in my hall closet and hopefully I remember when I'm leaving to the store, I've been pretty good about it, probably eight out of 10 times I remember. But what I do is I take them out of my hall closet and I put them in the passenger seat right next to me. So I see them. So when I get to the store, I don't have to remember to open up the trunk, grab my bags out and get in the store. They're right there next to me and typically I put my purse right next to them. So I just grab them and go into the store works great, <laughs> at least it has been. So I wanted to share that with you guys if you are as forgetful as I am. Two of them have recently broken. They don't last forever. They're only a dollar. I do have some higher quality and I paid a little bit more for them that have lasted for over a year now. But as far as the Dollar Tree ones, they don't last super long um, because sometimes the cashiers do stuff them a lot. Like that's one reason why I had one break is they put like all glass bottles in one so now i have to try to remind them like hey these bags aren't the best so don't overstuff them feel free i have plenty feel free to use them all so i picked up two more i thought this one was really pretty they had several in this but i'm trying to not buy a ton of bags when one breaks i'll buy another one so i had two breaks so i got two more this one i don't know if i'll use this as a grocery bag or if i'll keep this with like our pool stuff I just thought it was cute, but it is oversized. So again, a reason why I don't know if I would use it for groceries because I do feel like it would make it break more. But as a pull bag, put towels in here, sunscreen, stuff like that. I thought it'd be super cute. And it says, enjoy the ride. I love the font. And I like the little bicycle with the yellow on there. Super cute. Okay, I did pick up just a few food items. Actually, I think I might have more than this, but we'll see when we get to it. I got the kids' favorite donuts. Um, 
I was picking these up regularly. Now it's just a little treat when I do, the kids get excited. So I was like, all right, it's been a while. I will go ahead and pick them up. And this is a 16 count, but like I said, I am a family of six, my husband and I, and then four children. So this only lasts for one breakfast. And actually, I'm gonna have to read, nope, it has milk in it. So my oldest daughter will not eat these. She has, uh, she's living a vegan lifestyle right now, no animal products whatsoever. So just my three younger ones will eat this, and then they'll have to split the fourth package or something like that. But there's four packages in here with four donuts in each package. So this will be like one breakfast, or maybe I'll give each of them five donuts. I don't know how we'll separate it, but anyway, I just wanted to let y'all know that if you have one kid, this lasts a month if you let them have donuts like once a week. But for my family, it lasts just one day. All right, another thing that I picked up are the Paw Patrol. Now you could buy, I think they have the like just regular cheese crackers with peanut butter in a bigger pack for a dollar, which obviously is better, but sometimes kids just love being surprised with the like brand and licensed items. So I don't feel bad about picking this up. I thought it was super cute. My twins, Rose and Pearl, they're in first grade and I pack their lunches a lot and I thought this would be a fun little treat for them, or not treat, because this is something that they eat regularly, but there's eight packs in here. It even says perfect lunchbox size. Um, how many are in each pack? I think four, it looks like four. So I think that's perfect for a lunchbox. I think the bigger ones have six in it and I think that might be too much for lunchtime, but I think they are going to enjoy these. All right, and then I got some cereal. It's been a little while, I feel like, since I purchased the like nothing but sugar cereal, but you really cannot be a dollar. And again, this is just something that the kids get excited about. Not that we buy it all the time, but I don't feel bad about picking it up. And these are both family size. These are what, three something in the store, maybe even four. I haven't purchased cereal like this in a while. I pay a little bit more now for like the less sugary stuff, but every once in a while, I'm gonna keep picking this up. I think they're gonna like it. I know they're gonna like this one. This is the Hershey's Fillows. So it's like a play on pillow, but it's filled with something. So fillows, cream filled cereal and cookies and cream. So I know they're gonna like this one, but this one, let me set this box down. This one, I don't know because I don't think they've ever had mint chocolate chip ice cream. I know a lot of people love that ice cream. I'm not a huge fan. I love coffee ice cream. That's really like the only kind I'll eat, but my kids love like the over the top flavored ice creams and, or just plain old like vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, that kind of thing. I don't think they've ever tried the mint chocolate, but I think they might like it. We'll see. This is a family size drumstick mint chocolate in cereal form. Oh, you know what? Just turn it around. It tells me ice cream flavored scoops, cocoa nuggets, and cone cereal pieces. That's what the cereal consists of. So. Hopefully they like it, I think they will, but I do think that they'll be excited to see it and for sure want to give it a try. Okay, more food items. It's a good deal when you find the 10 pack box. Typically they have the, what, six piece, I think, um, of different kinds of gummies for a dollar, but when you see the 10 count, pick it up if your kids like gummies, which my girls, Rose and Pearl do, and this is Shimmer and Shine. I definitely picked this up because that is a good bang for your buck if your kids like gummies, which my twins, Rose and Pearl, do. All right, I picked this up for me. It's been a while since I've had these. Um, and I used to pick them up all the time because I was like, oh yeah, those are so much better than just eating chips. Um, not really. So it says, do one better. Popcorners, the crun crunchy and wholesome popcorn snack and white cheddar. White cheddar is one of my favorite flavors. I love it. It says never fried, non-GMO corn, certified gluten-free. This is a three ounce bag. Uh, yeah, so I was like, yeah, I'm eating better, I'm doing good, but it's got oils in it and maltodextrin and all this other stuff that you're not supposed to eat, but I just love them. So I got me one. Uh, however, I used to eat this in one sitting. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in probably three little portion size baggies and that way I have it for a few different snacks. Okay, getting into some housewares, you guys. These are so expensive. Now, I don't know if they work very well yet. I'm hoping they do, but I figured 
two dollars out of pocket if they're crap i'll just toss them in our goodwill bin or something like that we've got a pretty good bin going that we need to go drop off for donation but rug pads are can get very very pricey so when i saw them i knew i wanted to pick them up and give them a try now there is only one size these are 18 by 28 inches non-slip rug underlay so we have a rug right in our foyer by our front door and then we have a rug by the back door so and then they like when the dogs are running around or the kids sometimes the rugs shift and move and i'm constantly putting them back into place so i picked these up to try and see if they would work keeping them down and in place all right i do have some other kitchen items in here um but in this one bag there was just this and this is a potato masher now i have the like ground beef masher whatever that's called and i love using that sometimes i go for the spatula instead i feel like that works just as well breaking up your ground not just beef but any kind of ground meat in a skillet you don't need one of those fancy ones you could just use a spatula it works just fine but as far as mashing potatoes, sometimes I like mine to be more on the chunky side. And when I use my hand mixer, th those chunks just go. Like the hand mixer works really good for making nice whipped mashed potatoes. But I want sometimes them to be a little on the chunky side. And I've seen a few recipes for potato smashers in like the Instant Pot and the air fryer where you just lightly push on it. And I know I could use a fork or something, but I am all for kitchen gadgets and appliances. So I found this for a dollar and I am excited to add it to my arsenal in the kitchen. All right, picked up some socks. I am on the hunt for the socks that actually have the ears that stick out. I know my girls would love those. I would rock them at, ho at home. I don't think I would wear them out in public. <laughs> I would rock them in the house, but my girls would for sure rock them anywhere. Um, but they are in need of some socks. I swear we lose socks and it's just ridiculous or they just run around with socks on outside in the backyard. They don't put shoes on and then they get holy and I have to toss them. Anyway, my girls need some socks, my twins, Rose and Pearl. So I did find some cute ones for them. I got these two for Rose. Her feet are much smaller than Pearl, even though they're twins. There is a very significant size difference between the two. If you guys have seen them here in past videos or over on Instagram when I've shared them a little bit, they're very, very different. They're fraternal for sure. So these are for Rose. I thought they were super cute. These are Essie leg wear there's two pairs in each one and are they the same size yeah four to six so this one has a panda but it is a a unicorn panda i thought that was really cute and then the second pair is just a bunch of panda faces on there and then this one is kind of the same but it's a cat with the unicorn horn so like a catacorn and then a bunch of cat faces on the second pair. So they did not have those same ones in pearl size. So hers are different, but I think she's still going to like the ones that I found. So I actually got two different sizes for her. This one says seven to two, and then this one says six to eight, but they both look the exact same size. So this one is the Dollar Tree brand sock made by Greenbrier, and this is a cat yes i couldn't tell at first but that's a cat i like the pink and the blue together and then the second one is just striped and i like the top here so you'll be able to see that on top of our tennis shoes it's kind of scalloped i thought that was a cute little detail so i got that pair and then this pair is very a valentine's themed but again it's pink and my daughter pearl is very girly and she loves pink like she loves the color pink and everything. So this is another, this is a little dog and she has a fuzzy pink bow on her head. And then the second pair is just a pink sock with white hearts all over it. So those are going to my girls right now. Sometimes I hide things away for different occasions and stuff, but they need these right now. A pair of socks I'm putting away for sometime in the future. I have this little system in my closet. I actually think you guys are seeing this video after my home tour so you've already seen the little shelving unit that i have in my closet and the plans that i have for it but i'm going to get different bins and i like to pick things up whenever i see them because that's definitely a must do at the dollar tree if you see something and you like it 
and you know you're gonna use it at some point, but not maybe right then and there, I would still go ahead and pick it up if you have the space, if you have the extra funds to get it, and hold on to it because it's there's no guarantee that it's gonna be there later on. But I saw this pair of socks, it's actually a two pack, and I thought they were super cute. Definitely the way my oldest daughter Paige dresses. She likes the grays, the whites, the blacks. And these socks have little cat faces on them. I thought they were super cute along with polka dots. And it's just the black, white, and gray. And then the second is just black and white striped with the gray heel. So I just really love the look of this. These um, fit size, shoe size five to nine. And then this is Dollar Tree brand as well, made by Greenbrier. So I went ahead and picked that up. She doesn't need any socks right now. So this is something super cutesy that I can add to, like I've already got their Valentine's Day basket ready, but you could add this into a Valentine's Day basket or Easter or hold on to it for Christmas or something if you do a big advent or countdown, anything like that. So I like to keep things like that on hand if it's not a need for right now. Okay, something I have been looking for, but everything online was so expensive and then I walked into the Dollar Tree and I was like, whoa, that's humongous, is a rain gauge. That's one thing that I like to keep track of. Um, it's just interesting. The kids like it. Sometimes like my parents have a rain, rain gauge and if we get a lot of rain here in, San Anto in the San Antonio area, they're like, hey, we got this many inches. How many did you get? And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know how much rain we got. I just know it rained for like days. <laughs> so I figured I would go ahead and get a rain gauge. This one says you can stick it in the ground, but I think we are going to mount it on our fence. And it says water magnifies numbers over 35%. It's easy to read, easy to mount. And it is a five inch capacity, but I just thought for a dollar, that's great because all the ones that I was looking up online were much more than a buck. Okay, so if you guys did not know, I don't know if all the Dollar Trees have the plus sections yet or not, but the Dollar Tree plus sections means it's more than a dollar. Typically they have like $3 and $5 things in there. And I originally thought this was supposed to be in the plus section, but it wasn't. Um, and it rang up for a buck. So this is Hasbro and we definitely love playing games as a family. We used to do it before we moved. Um, we used to regularly, like every single weekend, Friday or Saturday, we would play some kind of game. We would play a game with the little kids and then we'd play a game with our older kid, Paige. Um, and then once a month we would have like movie nights where we all slept over. Mark and I are getting too old for that, sleeping on the couch and stuff. But the kids, we want to get back into that routine of doing something, made, making sure that we're getting together as a family. Outside of family dinners, we always eat dinner together. But I wanted to pick up some new games because the ones that we have, we have played so many times that I want to start adding more. I want to keep the ones that we love and our favorites, but I want to add some more. This one looks super, super simple. I don't know if the kids are going to enjoy it or not, but I figured for a dollar we would pick it up and at least play it once and see what we thought. But like I said, it is by Hasbro. It says that on the back, Parker Brothers on this front, and it says no apologies. And it is, it says it's about a 30 minute game, which is perfect for our younger kids. And it's just a game board, some chips, and a few cards. And the purpose is to be the first player to get all three of your movers. So I guess there's three of each color of the chips in here and you have to get all three of your movers from your color start to your color home. And then on the back, it shows like the start. You have to, I'm assuming you have to go around the whole board and not just right here because that would make for a really short game. So we will see if the kids enjoy that. So my dad's birthday is in February and I don't know what we're getting him yet. I actually got him a birthday card also, but it's not in the same bag. Um, but I know for birthdays, we don't really do something like huge. We do more of a gift card or something smaller. And for Christmas, we gift bigger items. So I went ahead and picked up, this is actually a two pack. So I'll be able to save one for another time. But I picked up a gift bag and it just says happy birthday. It's got the cake and the candle. I thought this looked a little bit more masculine than the other ones that they had, but only one of them I wanted to point that out has the glitter on it. So this front one has glitter on it, only on one side, the other side does not. But this second bag does not have glitter on it at all. So I actually might use this one for my dad and save the glitter one for something else. But 
a dollar for two gift bags. I thought that was pretty good. But I love picking up my gift bags from the Dollar Tree. Sometimes Walmart is very price comparable to the Dollar Tree. They have a lot of the same items for 97 cents instead of a dollar. But when it comes to gift bags and cards and tissue paper, that kind of thing, I feel, I feel like it's a better bang for your buck getting them from the Dollar Tree. All right, I got some push pins for a piece that I picked up for my closet to hang my jewelry in. Uh, I don't think, I'm actually filming this before I film the home tour, but so I don't know if I'm gonna hang that up before you guys see the home tour. Anyway, I needed some tacks, some push pins for the little board that I bought to hang my jewelry up because I have all my jewelry in a little jewelry box right now and I feel like I would wear, I like go for the same exact pieces all the time because they're out on my bathroom in the little dish. Whereas if they were out and I could see them, I might switch it up a little bit more often. I don't know, that's just where my mind goes when I think of things and how I wanna decorate and all that good stuff. This is 120, I don't need that many. The rest of them are gonna go here on my desk, but I did need some for my closet for my jewelry. All right, I don't know how long the Dollar Tree has had these. They are super cute. You're gonna have to let me know if they are new or not. Is it gonna focus on that? There we go. Should I move closer when I'm showing you guys items? I don't know. This is a terrarium planter clear. It's got the big old hole in the middle where you can place everything. It does have a hoop on the top so you could hang it, but it does have a flat bottom. So you could set it somewhere as well. And then it has a little smaller hole in the side to water things. So I went ahead and got this for my daughter Paige. She wants to do something with live plants in her room and where her room is in the house. She has a nice big window. So I do feel like she could hang. I almost got a couple of these, but I'm gonna show her this first and then maybe they'll have some more when I go back if she wants more. But I thought she could hang several of them with like fish line or something so it's clear in front of her window and that would be super cute. So I went ahead and picked one up to show her and see if this is what she was talking about. But I had never seen these at the Dollar Tree before, so I thought that was a really good find. All right, my kids are getting older. I mean, that happens, right? So I am finally going to get rid of their smaller cups, and I got them some bigger ones. And originally, I had two of each, and then I was like, well, wait, then we do like the one cup rule in the house. When you wake up and you make yourself a drink for breakfast, or I make you a drink for breakfast, that is your cup for the entire day. That helps with a family of six on dishes, which is my nemesis. I hate doing the dishes. So I was originally gonna pick up two of each because I have twins, but then I was like, then if they wanna use the same cup in a day, they won't know whose is whose. They'll put it in the sink and they'll get a new cup. So anyway, I got three different ones and I was a little bummed. I did get, oh, here it is right here. I was gonna say, I did get one for Bryce, but at the Dollar Tree, I definitely have better luck finding things for the girls, and I spend more money on Bryce, on like the little things, Advent, Easter, stuff like that, because the Dollar Tree just caters to little girls, I guess. I don't know. I never find anything, hardly ever, for Bryce at the store, so that's why you see three girly cups and one boy cup. Plus, he's at that age where he's like acting like a preteen, he just turned nine, he's too cool for everything that's baby. I don't know, I could go on forever. Anyway, so the three cups that I got for the girls, I'm gonna get rid of their little small cups. They drink a lot more in one sitting now. So I got this frozen one. They actually have two different kinds of frozen cups, but I already purchased the other one for their birthday. So this is the other one that they have, is the purple. Then I'll just stack them like this. This one I thought was really cute. So it's emojis and I just loved all the ones on there. How cute is that? And then they have a unicorn one. So I got that one. All right, and then the one that I got for Bryce, he doesn't really watch the Ninja Turtles, but I thought these ones looked cool. It says Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So I don't know if that's like a new cartoon or something like that. We don't really watch a lot of cartoons, but I thought he would be okay with drinking out of this cup. All right, and then I actually have more in another bag, but we're going to do like a big, I'm gonna decorate the dining room for Valentine's Day. Typically I don't, but this year I just wanted to have more fun and decorate the whole table. The kids actually have off for Valentine's Day um, and that Monday. So it's a nice long weekend and I just want to focus on the kids and love on them all weekend long. We're gonna play some games. We're just gonna have a fun time. 
So I got some Valentine's Day stuff to decorate the living room. I got this pack of six cups, so I feel like all of us will use it, even my husband and I. Just says happy Valentine's Day, and then after, I can wash these and pack them away for next year. So I thought that would be something nice to have on hand. Then, as far as decorating, I found this balloon. So this was available in red and pink, red or pink. I got the red because I felt like I was trying to mix and match colors. You'll see when I pick, pull out the other pipe pieces. But these are the foil balloons, 22 inches air filled, inflate with enclosed straw, not for helium use, and it can be hung with a ribbon, which I hope I have, I have a lot of fishing wire. I feel like fishing wire works great hanging things and you really can't see it that well. So I got that to hang up somewhere in the dining room. And then my kids love balloons. Like that is one thing that I could just buy a pack of balloons, blow them up, throw them on the floor, and it will entertain them for a good hour. Like for real. Do your kids do that with balloons? I don't know, let me know. So I got two different packs that I thought would be fun to just blow up and throw on the ground in the dining room and all weekend long they can just play with them. So these ones are really cool. I don't think I've ever seen balloons at the Dollar Tree before that have confetti in them. So this is a six pack of latex balloons. So if you're allergic to latex, don't be picking these up, but we haven't had any issues. And it has heart shaped confetti. Oh no, no, no. Is the confetti shaped like hearts? No, the balloon is shaped like a heart and the confetti looks like little dots, like red and pink, little different gradient of the red color and pinks in there. So I thought the kids would get a kick out of that. And then I got this 12 pack and these are all heart shaped. So there's some white ones, pink ones, and red ones in there. All right, I was trying to find the rest of the stuff for the table, but I think I'm missing the napkins. So when we get to that, we'll get to it. But these are some of the other items I picked up for Valentine's Day dinner. I got a pack of the plates and this is an 18 pack. So we might use this for breakfast, lunch, and dinner maybe. And then we'll be done for the day. Okay, six of us, 18 in here. So just has XOXO all over it in the Valentine's Day regular colors, the white, pink, and red. And they did have like, everything was matchy matchy. So you could get napkins to match this, a table cover to match this, but I kind of broke it up and got different things. So I got a different table cover. I thought this one was cute. It is pink, which is a little bit uh, different for us. Normally when we get the valent or the holiday tablecloths, the top that covers the table that you see the most of is white. And then the print is on the bottom that hangs, but this one's pink. So I really love that. And then the hanging part just has hearts all over it, little mini hearts, and then a big heart in various places. And it says love XOXO. I thought that was really cute. And I'm also going to buy some fresh flowers. I might buy some fresh flowers for my three girls. I might do it for my son Bryce too. I'm not sure yet. I don't know how he'd feel about it, but I thought about buying the girls at least fresh flowers to keep in their room on their desks. I thought that would be nice and something different. And then I got these heart doilies to put on the table with the vase of the flowers um, that we're gonna have for the house. Or maybe I'll give each of the girls one of these also and they can put this under their vase with flowers in their room on their desk. But they did have a smaller size. Maybe I should have got the smaller size for the kids, for the ones in their rooms. I don't know, we'll see. I might go back and get the smaller ones if I end up going back and getting more of those little terrain terraniums before Valentine's Day. But I think I'm gonna vlog that weekend. You guys are always asking for vlogs and it's just something that I've gotten out of so I forget. <laughs> so I think Valentine's Day weekend, the kids are home, we're gonna do a lot of fun stuff. I think I might film that and share it with you guys. All right, some more Valentine's Day stuff. I got some items for the teacher gifts. So I think I shared what we got the kids that they're gonna give their teachers for Valentine's Day. And I know not everybody, like that's not a must. Like you don't have to buy your teacher something. I just like doing that for every occasion. I like to thank the teachers for spending all the time that they do with my kids. And I mean, they have them. They spend a lot more time with my kids than I do, even as a stay at home mom. I mean, I get them right after school, but they're with them for eight hours during the day. And that's a lot of time for them to be watching out for my kids. So I definitely try to share my appreciation every time I can, but it's not something that you have to do. That was something else that some people were asking me is like, is that required? Do you have to give your kids Valentine's Day stuff to the teachers? And no, you do not have to. I just choose to. That's just something that I choose to do. So I have a few things for each of their teachers and I picked up a $10 Starbucks gift card because they all like coffee, but I completely forgot bags. <laughs> 
to put their stuff in. So I'm glad I went back to the Dollar Tree before Valentine's Day. So I picked up bags and these are two packs, but I went ahead and got three different kinds because I wanted them each to say Happy Valentine's Day. And I felt like this was a bigger bang for my buck. I didn't need huge bags. So hopefully these will work. But this one is Happy Valentine's Day with the gold and the pink and then bag two doesn't say anything on it. It just has a pink hearts. So I'll be just be able to save that for next year. And then this one says Happy Valentine's Day with the gold on it and then some red hearts. And bag two is white hearts on a red background. And then this is the one that I got for Bryce to give to his teacher. I felt like it was more masculine. And this one is like a lunch bag, like a brown paper sack. And it does say Happy Valentine's Day on it in the white, and then it has the red hearts. And the second bag is a pink heart. Is that pink? Yes. Uh, that could be like a faded red, but my first guess was like looking at it, my first instinct was to say pink. And then it's got red stripes behind it. And then I also got some tissue paper. I do have some white tissue paper left over from Christmas, so I might use that if I feel like this is too much, but I did go ahead and pick up a pack of the printed on tissue paper. Uh, it's definitely a better bang for your buck to get the solid colors from the Dollar Tree. There's more in it. I think there's 30 sheets in those ones. This one's only 10 sheets, but it's more, I mean, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty paper. So some of them say Happy Valentine's Day and then some of them are a solid pink. Does it tell me, I, I'm guessing you get five of each. Oh no, 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 it tells you on here. So you get four of the print and six solid. Okay, I really hope I'm talking as fast as I can. I know these videos can get super long. I've already had to stop my camera and restart it. So I know. And I still have a ton next to me. All right. All right. I am almost speechless, but not quite. <laughs> um, I love when I find things like this at the Dollar Tree because, and I should start looking them up before I start filming. But this is Hasbro. So it is name brand called Zoops. Now I'll have to open this up and see how fun it is. But I just think that's great. I almost feel like I should have picked up more to have on hand for like birthday parties and stuff, but I used to do that when the kids were younger when they didn't like picking out birthday gifts for their friends and family, but now that they're at the age where they like to go to the store, whenever they get invited to a birthday party, they kind of already come to me knowing what they want to go buy for them. So I don't really buy a bunch of stuff for other kids anymore like I used to. I just buy things that my kids are going to like and hold on to them. But I am thinking of holding on to these until Easter if I can last that long. I just think they look so fun. They are called Zoops. I think I already said that. And they are wacky zooming animals. I twist and climb. It has a little ball in here, some little pieces, and then it's just a little animal. Does it? It contains a button or coin cell battery. Uh, not for kids under three because it does have small parts in it, but there were a bunch of different kinds. So I picked up this one. I felt like my son Bryce would like that and he might be, I don't think he's too old for this because he loves playing with all sorts of little figures still with his like Lego sets. He loves it. He still enjoys getting blind bags and stuff like that. So hopefully he'll like this because it is not girly looking at all. He's at that stage now where anything girly looking is not allowed in his room. So it does say for ages five and up. So I got this one for him. And then, like I said, there are a ton of different kinds. I got two of the unicorns. Are these both unicorns? Yes. Two of the unicorns, one in pink, one in white for my twins, Rose and Pearl. But I think this would be a really cute Easter basket stuffer. And you know, if you find this at like Walmart with it being Hasbro, I'm going to guess it is in between three and six dollars. All right, I did pick something up for myself. So we have a few different road trips and trips in an airplane that we are going on this year and possibly next year. I just, I love to travel. And now that my kids are a little older, it's a lot easier for me to do that without the kids and also take the kids with me. Now that they're a little older, they're more independent and it's not just craziness. If you guys travel with like newborns and toddlers, whew, craziness but I do not have those anymore. So traveling has become more on the fun side. So I got myself two things. I fell in love with the look of these first, um, but aren't these just so pretty? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna hate it when I fill it, like when I'm done with it and I have to throw it away. But for a buck, so this is the Crown Jewels line and this one is Sudoku, Sudoku, Sudoku Puzzles. And I love that it closes 
so it can keep it nice and close in your purse, which is exactly where I'm gonna put these. Like taking the kids to appointments and stuff, now I sit in the waiting room. They're a little bit on the older side, especially the dentist. They go off to the dentist, and I feel like this would be something nice to have for me to work on while they're doing things, um, or like when traveling and stuff. So here's the inside, it has a bunch of puzzles in here. It does not tell me how many are in here, but does it say, yeah, easy, medium, hard, Oh, I hate that they gave me the answers. I might rip those out because I would be tempted if I got stuck. But I also like how I could color it if I wanted to. So like if I wanted to doodle instead of work on the puzzle, I don't know. That just, that, that seemed like something that would be nice for me to have in my purse. And then this one, oh my gosh, I love this green teal color. It is definitely my favorite. These are word search puzzles. So are these labeled as well, like medium? No. But they do have coloring pages as well. I was flipping through that and not even showing y'all. I was just so entranced by it. So look at that, I don't know. I just thought they went, they took that extra step and made them like really cute little pocket size books to keep on hand. I don't know, I just really love that. So I picked those up for me, you guys. Like it's not even Valentine's Day yet. And they have not only, not only St. Patrick's Day stuff, but Easter stuff as well. Like I, I refrained pretty well. I think I did a good job because I actually have a few Easter things that I need to look at first before I go buy anything new for the house. But I do know that I do not have these. I actually was trying to find the ones that they had for Valentine's Day. I've seen several people haul them, but my Dollar Tree, did not have them. So I picked up these ones and there are so many things that you can do with these. I actually have some from Christmas and Thanksgiving that I have DIYs in mind. I just haven't done it yet since we are still fairly new to this house, but I knew I wanted to at least have them in my arsenal so I could do something with them at some point. But these are two different kinds. So they both have three pieces in them. This one says spring bunny and welcome. And that's where it tells you what the words say in here but they're just metal galvanized words so lots i mean very lot if you guys are handy if you like to diy lots of stuff this one says happy easter and blessings so those are the three words that are in here but i feel like they're the perfect size to do a lot of different things with so these are getting packed away for easter all right you guys another thing that i picked up for myself are these little scrunchies oh my gosh i used to live in these in high school, like live in them. So I have been using the, I thought I had one on my hand, but I don't, uh, the rubber bands, the, the elastic bands, there you go, for my hair. But as I've gotten older, my hair is starting to thin and I actually, I found, you know, it's starting to grow in a little bit, which is really nice. And I'm eating a little bit better, which I feel like is making a big difference in my hair, skin, and nails outside of other things that I'm doing. But one thing that I read is to never, ever go to sleep with your hair up in an elastic band. And that's what I've been doing for years. Like, I've always slept with my hair up. I just don't like sleeping with my hair down because it, you know, it just gets in your face. So I figured... I would try these. These are softer. They're not as tight. They're not going to like pull on my scalp as tight. So hopefully, hopefully this works and doesn't like do anything, kill my hair anymore, rip out my hair anymore than it already has. So I don't know. I'm just hoping that this works. They feel very nice. I won't do it as tight. So maybe when I wake up, it'll be falling off and my hair will be all wild, but at least falling asleep, it'll be pulled back away from my hair, just not as tight. All right, just one book. Um, the So all of this stuff, I haven't, I didn't mention it. All of this stuff came from the Dollar Tree and Bernie, which I don't go to that much anymore. We live a good amount away from Bernie, but I was in the Bernie area today, so I figured, you know what, it's been a while, let's go back to my original Dollar Tree that I used to shop at all the time, and their book section hasn't gotten any better over the, what, two and a half years that I've been shopping there. It's just a small little section. So just one book, but there is a bigger taller tree. I really want to get a nice stack of books here in my office. I have a few, I actually have like five that I need to read, but over the summer, I know I'm going to get a lot more reading done than 
when the kids are in school. I don't know why. I feel like I make myself busy, busy, busy while they're in school, but when on the summertime we relax a little bit more, we're out doing things, and I just read more. So I want to get a nice collection of books going, but I just found one. This one is called The Roanoke Girls, and it was originally $25. It is hardcover. It's got the book jacket on there. Like, that's crazy to me that these, if you go to a store, you find this $25, but I got it for a dollar. So sounds like a really good story. I am excited to read it. So I am excited to add this to my list of books to read. Okay. I picked up three of these, but my oldest daughter is not going to want one, but I could not decide <laughs> which ones for my daughter's Rose and Pearl. I know they would love to have these on their doors. So I picked up three because all three of these are super cute. I'm gonna let the girls decide and then I'm gonna put one away for like a birthday present or Christmas or something for the girls to gift to one of their friends at a later time. Cause like I said, these are so cute. So they're just door hangers. They are Dollar Tree brand. They are pretty thick too. Like I thought normally these little door hangers are pretty thin, but this one's pretty thick. So they're just calling it decor, but let me hold it like this so you can see the whole thing. This one is full of cats and I just love the colors on it. And it says cat nap in progress. I thought that was super cute. This one says current mood and it has sloth animals all over it and the rainbows. So originally I saw these two and I was like pearl rose, but then I saw this one and this one's not as cute but I think that one of the girls might like it. I think Pearl might like it. I don't know. But this one says, oh, this one's longer. I am a mermaid unicorn fairy princess. Like what? I just thought that was super cute. I love the colors on this one as well. I mean, these ones definitely caught my eye first. I thought these were really cute, but then I read this one and I was like, oh, I really like that. So I went ahead and picked up all three. I'll let Rose and Pearl decide which one they like. And then, like I said, I will keep the extra one to gift to somebody else. All right, so I mentioned I always find girl stuff over boy stuff. However, I did find two boy items that I am that I picked up to just tuck away for at a later time. Like I've been saying the whole video, uh, Easter, if I wasn't already done with Valentine's Day, that's when I would go into my bins and pick things. But I just like having little things on hand. So this one is the Block Tech brand that is made by Dollar Tree, but these work with Legos and they're exactly like Legos. Like my son has a ton of these, my girls have some, some and they work great. They're easy to put together. This one is, it says collect all six, but this is the only one I found. This wasn't even in like a box or anything. It was just tucked somewhere random. So I didn't see any other ones, but this one is the Robo machi Machines. So do they, okay, so it can be a vehicle or a robot but this it's 22 pieces oh you know what when you buy all six of them they go together like a robot okay I'm gonna have to keep my eyes out for the other one so this one is just a yellow vehicle and then can you guys see like I can see it just exactly how it has it is put together. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's the six vehicles put together and they make a robot. So I'm gonna have to keep my eye out, but I know my son will like the yellow vehicle. And then I found this and I thought this would be fun for him to play with. Hopefully he doesn't like get his sisters in the face with this. I don't know. I mean, boys, oh my gosh. It does say five years and up. It's a slingshot, wooden slingshot. It has a one slingshot and three pom-poms. So it's not the end of the world. They're not hard, <laughs> which is nice. They're just little pom-poms. And then I also found another blind bag, but this one is a Lego. So it's NFL, well, not Lego, but it's NFL brand. It even has like the little water mark thing on here. Series one, one minifigure, 10 to collect buildable figure. So it's like a Lego. You don't know what you're gonna get, you open it. It says works with major brands. So I just thought that that would be cool to have on hand. Dang, I forgot that I found so many boy things this time. Like that's rare, that hardly ever happens. All right, one thing my son loves is dinosaurs, but like the Jurassic Park dinosaurs, not the cutesy, like toddler nice dinosaurs. He likes the ferocious ones, like the crazy about to eat you and rip your arm off 
dinosaur. So Jurassic World has some minifigures. This is says three and up and it's a mini action dino. It doesn't say anything else if it's like a series. It's got the universal Mattel uh, logo on the back. So went ahead and got that to throw into my bin. And then did I say that I only picked up those words for Easter decor? I lie. <laughs> I was on the hunt for these last year and never found them, but they are so stinking cute. So cute. I feel like I saw people pick these up at Hobby Lobby. I think they were bigger, but they were like $8 for like two of them or something like that. And I was like, that's crazy. So I did pick up, I spent $2, but I got eight. They are small, but I think they are so cute. So it's just orange yarn wrapped around that's probably styrofoam and then it's got some green little pieces sticking out the top like a carrot. I just thought those were super cute. So picked those up. All right, I knew I picked up a different kind of tissue paper. So I got this one also that I might use in the teacher gifts um, or in my kids gifts as well. So this one is six sheets um, and it doesn't tell me on this one. So I'm just gonna assume three and three, but who knows but it's got white and different size hearts on it. And then also for Valentine's Day, I actually shared a picture on Instagram. I got everything for my girls' Valentine's little bags that they're taking to school from Target, except for these. This is totally gonna be a last minute addition. I just saw them. I thought they were cute. My girls love to draw. They have arts and crafts stuff everywhere. So I was like, you know what? I wanna add something artsy into their little gift bags that they're handing out. So I got four packages because my girls, even though they're twins, they are in separate classes and each class has 20 kids in it. So they'll have a few extra at home. That's just how it goes all the time. But I thought these were super cute. So there's 12 in a pack and there's four different kinds and there's three of each kind. So I just thought those were really cute. They're little mini ones. And, oh, did I even say what they are? They're ballpoint pens. That's what they're calling them. So they're just pens with the Valentine Day sticker on the holy part of them. You like how technical I get? I definitely got a lot of kid stuff this haul. I was just amazed. And I didn't even pick up everything that I saw. Like there are so many things. That's what happens when you don't go to the Dollar Tree for a month. So I picked up two little blind bags for my girls, Rose and Pearl and they are Lip Gloss Surprises Yo-Yo World. It says there's five in all. I just picked up two. So again, I'll just pack these away. And I mean, the closest thing that I can think of is Easter. However, we might, it's not a definite yet, but I'm planning something for spring break, which is before Easter. And if we do what I am trying to plan, they're gonna need some little items to tie them over during different times. I'm being very vague with that, but I don't want to say anything until I know what's happening. So I went, I think I did go a little crazy picking up extra stuff just in case this plan works out, but I got those. My girls are getting into where they want to play with makeup. I don't let them wear makeup to school, but I do let them wear makeup at home. And I mean like kid makeup, they don't have eyeshadow and blush and stuff, but they have lip glosses and like perfume and stuff like that. But at home, they love to use it, but I just, what age do you guys let your daughters wear that kind of stuff out of the house? I mean, I have an older daughter. She wears makeup outside of the house and I let her do her thing. I feel like that is very creative. That is how she expresses herself and shows her individuality, all of that, but she is older. I mean, she's gonna be 16 this summer, whereas my twins just turned seven in November. So big gap there, but I'm curious, what age do you guys let your daughters wear makeup outside of the house. I know everybody's got different ways of parenting and that is awesome. You do what works for your family, but I am curious to know like what age, like teenager, preteen, 12 maybe, 12, I don't know. That's ringing a bell for me for when I let my oldest daughter start wearing it outside the house, 12, cause that's when she got a phone. So I don't know, well, but we'll see. I mean, my younger ones, I feel like I'm a lot less like our mama bear for my younger ones than I was with Paige, so. It might be earlier, I don't know. Okay, I need to check the calendar and see if St. Patrick's Day is on a school day. I feel like it is, but this school that my kids are going to, they have like random holidays. Like, not holidays, but days off of school. So like they have Valentine's Day off. I don't feel like they had Valentine's Day off last year or the last time that it was on a school day. I don't remember, but they have it off this year, which I thought was a little different. So I don't know about St. Patrick's Day, but I did get, 
some items for them to wear just in case the kids still do the pinch thing. I got pinched all the time when I was in middle school and high school if I did not remember to wear green. You guys get pinched? So I picked up some things for them to wear to school and of course they're all tangled. Oh my gosh, these are tangled. All right, okay, here we go. So some fun things. I got this a two pack of necklaces for my girls and it just says Happy St. Patrick's Day on it and it's got some little, actually that's a three leaf clover on it. It's got little clovers on it. So one for each. And then for Bryce, I don't know what he would prefer, if anything. I mean, we could just have these thrown in our little dress up bin if they don't want to wear them to school. But I did get him the tie and I did buy these both last year, but I cannot find them. Like they are missing. I feel like I left them in the play, the dress up bin and it, I, don't, I don't know. So I got the tie and I got the bow tie. So maybe he will want to wear one of those. And then for my daughter Pearl, now this, I'm gonna have to ask. I think she'd be able to wear this to school because they wear those like crazy headbands with the cat ears and stuff. I've seen lots of little girls wear that. So I think she could wear this on her head. But this is a shamrock crown. And the reason why I didn't get one for Rose is she does not like doing anything to her hair. It is rare when she asks me to put her hair in a ponytail. Like it's few and far between. Whereas Pearl, loves doing things every single day with her hair. She's actually starting to do it herself. I need to take a picture of her bun that she did this morning, the next day she does it, and post it on Instagram. And I need to start remembering to use my stories here on YouTube more because that's where I share more stuff. And she just, she's getting so good at it. But I know she would love to wear this. Now, if my daughter Rose sees this and she's like, I wanna wear one, then I'll go back and try to find another one. But I like highly, 99.99999% sure that she's not going to care. She does not like doing things in her hair, but I know Pearl is going to love that. And then I got a sign. I have this little space in my house that I have a wreath hanging up. And unless I decide to do something different once the house is fully furnished and decorated, that what I have right now is the wreath. And then for different holidays, I put something in the middle of the wreath. So I don't know how this is going to look. I got the one that had a little bit of white on it, but the wreath is green. So I don't know if this is gonna look good there, but I picked it up because I wanted to see and I just thought it was really cute. I love the way that they did this. I just like that it looks like wood planks and it's different um, like shades of green and the white and then it says lucky and blessed. So I just thought that was pretty. Um, the fallout is kind of horrible. <laughs> it's all over, but. You can just spray it with some hairspray. I've done that to a lot of things I've picked up from the Dollar Tree and it works pretty good. Okay, this is not new. The Dollar Tree has had these forever, but with Pearl being more into having her hair done, there has been several mornings in the past two weeks that she's asked me to curl her hair. And I have to tell her no, because it's a school morning and that we just don't have time to do that on a school morning. On the weekends I curl her hair sometimes, but she's been waking up and saying, mom, I want my hair to be curly for school today. And I'm like, I cannot, we don't have time, I'm sorry. So I picked these up and maybe these will work, maybe they won't. I got two different kinds. This is hair rollers. There's six in here, it says salon quality. And they're the ones that you like put your hair on and you roll up and then you bend to keep it closed. And then this one is a 10 pack, same concept, they're foam hair rollers but these ones have a little clip on them. So you unclip them, you roll your hair up, and then you clip them closed. So I got the two different kinds that we can put in her hair, like after she takes a shower, we'll put these in her hair. I'll blow dry it just a little bit. I feel like that helps set it, and then she'll sleep with these in her hair, and hopefully in the morning her hair is curly. So if you guys have any tips for using these to get like the super curly, not the like ringlets, but like the bigger wavy curls, let me know because I've never been a hair person. I hardly ever do anything to mine. So, and then Paige was never really a hair girl either. So the fact that Pearl is, I don't even know how to French braid. I've tried, I just can't. So you guys let me know if you follow anybody, if you have any tips for getting better at doing your child's hair. I need all the help and inspiration I can get. Kitchen items and these are covered with the glitter. 
from that St. Pat St. Patrick's Day sign. Like they have green glitter all over. All right, so I love these. One, the color just drew me in. That's one thing with kitchen things. Like I have one of these that are red, but these look so cute. <laughs> and I wanted to have two. So I picked both of these up and I feel like I can use these with my Instant Pot. They're not as big and bulky. They're a little thinner so I can pick it up. Um, also for like if I'm doing things on the stove top, sometimes my handles, if I'm cooking multiple things at once, the way I have things turned, they get a little warm. So I feel like this is something that I can easily stick in the drawer right there and have on hand. I can pull them out if I need them. So I love that they make these in the smaller ones. And are, are they calling them silicone? Yeah, silicone gloves. And I mean, these colors, they just draw me in. All right, another item that I picked up for the possibility of Easter or spring break. And I did not, this one's upside down. I didn't get one for my son Bryce. He is not arts and crafty. He is over that phase. He would rather read a book, play with Legos, something like that, listen to music when we're like in the car or doing things that he needs to be occupied and I can't like be right there with him or anything like that. So he's over the drawing and coloring and stuff like that, unfortunately, because that's like the easiest thing to pick up for cheap to keep your kids entertained, right? <laughs> but my girls, even my oldest girl, love to do it. So I picked up three notebooks. These are the Green Briar, so Dollar Tree brand, and I just thought they were super cute. So I got orange for rose, pink for pearl, and then the light blue, like sky blue color for Paige. And these ones are by, oh, Greenbrier, okay, Jot, but yeah, Greenbrier, it's a Dollar Tree brand. So Jot, um, and they are calling them journals. They're five by seven. I'll just open one, they're all the same. So about the size of my hand, a little bit bigger. They are lined, but they also come with stickers that I thought was super cute. So here's the blue one. It's got some coffee stickers on there. Do they all have the same stickers? No, but the pink one has coffee stickers also, but some of the other stickers are different. The yellow or the orange one is completely different. It doesn't have any coffee stickers. Oh, I just noticed it's got water with a little lemon on it and then some cactus. So I picked those up for my three girls. Okay, one thing that I picked up for my son Bryce, his bathroom and my laundry room, I have not used a reed diffuser in a long time. I have the little um, plug-ins from Bath and Body Works in most of the bathrooms. However, where the plug is in my son's bathroom, his hand towel is there and his little medicine cabinet is there. And I noticed when we first moved in about two weeks later, there was like this waxy, oily residue on his medicine cabinet. And it was from the smelly plug-in. So I got rid of that and now his bathroom smells like a boy's bathroom. I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. So I saw these at the Dollar Tree and I figured I would give them a try. I think I'm gonna put the yellow one in his bathroom. Um, and then if it starts to feel like it's too overpowering, I'll put the blue one in there. But the opposite one is gonna go in the laundry room because that room doesn't really get smelly. It actually smells good. But I feel like that's where we have our cat food and sometimes you can smell the cat food. I don't know, it gets to me sometimes. So. I thought having something, this is gonna, it's gonna go up on a shelf, so the cat can't get to it at all. But I thought it would be nice to try out for a dollar. So the blue one is coconut, and it comes with the smell. It just says fresh and clean scent. It says it on both of them, and it comes with some of the reeds that you just stick in there, and it makes your room nice and smelly. And the yellow one is sage and citrus. So if you guys have used these, let me know. I think they had, they had a peach one, and they might have had a pink one. I just don't remember, like rose, rose and uh, water or something. I don't know, but I picked up these two. All right, I picked up something for my husband, which is rare at the Dollar Tree. I actually got him something else that he is gonna be over the moon excited about. I was actually a little shocked when I saw it for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. But this is by Dove and it's Men Plus Care Ultra Hydra Cream Face, Hands, and Body. So he doesn't really use stuff like this, but He's been outside a lot with us having moved. He's doing a lot of outside stuff and his hands are getting a little dry. We're going into some hot summer months here in Texas, which summer starts with us. Like it's fall, fall, winter, summer. Like most of the months are summer for us. So it's nice and hot and I know his skin's gonna get a little dry. So I figured he could 
try this out and see if he likes it. I don't know. With us getting older, I'm trying to be better about like our body care and stuff like that. So I don't, I don't know. It's just my attempt at slowing the aging process. <laughs> For my girls, Rose and Pearl. All right. They take showers um, and they take showers by themselves. They're seven. I'm trying to let them do things more independently and teach them how to take care of themselves. However, washing their hair and it's more for pearl than rose because rose has my hair unfortunately very thin um but it's beautiful it's so curly unlike mine but it's very very thin so it's easy for her to wash her hair she knows when she has enough soap and she knows when all the soap is out because she can feel it in her hair but pearl has very very thick hair she's actually growing it out because she wants to donate it so it's getting very long tangly and all of that so i got her a brush for helping with the tangles. However, she's not getting enough soap in her hair, I can tell. Like for the most part, I keep an eye on her, but there's some days where she's like, mom, I know how to do it, I'm gonna do it all on my own. And then when she gets out, I can tell that she didn't wash her hair very good. So I saw these, these are shampoo massagers, and Rose does not need one, but I got one for her just in case. She's like, hey, Pearl has one, I want one. So I got them in two different colors so they know whose is whose. I got the purple one for Pearl and the blue teal one for Rose. And I'm hoping, it does say detangles hair as well, but I'm the reason why I picked this up is I'm hoping this helps get the soap, the shampoo, all in her hair everywhere. So she can put the shampoo either on this or in her hand and do it like normal, but then take this and really go through and push down on her scalp. So that's what my attempt at teaching them how to wash themselves better, better is gonna be we're gonna try these out i don't know it says with convenient palm grip and yeah i'm like i'm holding on to these pretty easy i don't know they seem pretty neat and another fun item to make bath time shower time fun and hopefully get that hair more on the clean side okay instead of using my bags they did opt to use the dollar tree bags for the drinks <laughs> so they didn't break but i'm pretty sure these are cheaper at walmart like 88 97 cents maybe i know y'all have told me before but i just don't pick them up at Walmart and it's only like when I go to the Dollar Tree like it's just a special thing I don't know I go for the bubbly and the sparkling slash mineral water type drinks this is sparkling but I don't know I just don't go for this I don't know why but every time I'm at the Dollar Tree I'm like oh sparkly nice it's like my treat or something so I picked up all the flavors they had they actually had I feel like this black raspberry is a new one I don't know but I got the peach nectarine let's set that down I got the black raspberry, the orange mango, and I think this is the last one, the cherry limey. This one's my favorite, I love it. And this is naturally flavored sparkling water. It has antioxidants, vitamins, and zero sugar. Zero sugar, zero sugar coating is what it says. I don't even know what sugar coating is, but uh, five calories for the whole bottle, and then everything is zeros and then it's got some vitamins and stuff in it. So it's not the worst for you. I pick it up because every now and then, I, I don't like to drink my calories outside of coffee. I like to save my calories for food. But like I said, this is like a Dollar Tree treat in my brain. Every time, I don't know, it's like wired in now. Every time I go to the Dollar Tree, I get one or four of them. But that's not it. I got more drinks. And like I said, they put them in the Dollar Tree bags because they are heavy. So this, I feel like I've picked it up before but I don't remember. So I went ahead and got it again. These are Propels, electrolyte water. Did I say that right? Electrolyte? I think I said that. I don't know what I said before, but it's electrolyte water beverage. This is by Gatorade. It's zero calories for a 12 ounce serving. This is a 24 ounce. Well, if it's zero for 12, it should be zero for the whole thing. Yes, zero for the whole thing. Um, no sugars, nothing in it at all some vitamins so it's like flavored water with a little bit of electrolytes in it so this is the kiwi strawberry and then i got the watermelon which i am really excited about that watermelon and then i got the berry as well so i'll probably just drink one of those and then the other two will be for my husband because he loves flavored waters like that whereas he's not a huge fan of the sparkling drinks or anything like that and then what? I know these are not good for you, but my husband loves them and they're, you know, whatever. He likes them. I don't like them. They, they give me the jitters. 
um, and I hate the taste. But these are small. These are 10.5 ounces, so they're much smaller than the normal cans he gets at when we buy them in bulk at Costco or when he goes to the gas station and gets one, which he does a lot. So I saw these and I was like, I'm gonna pick these up. I got two of them. I feel like a dollar for this size is probably not a good price. I don't know, I'm gonna let him let me know if that's a good price or not. But I did go ahead and get two of them. Again, they are small, but he loves these. These are the white, that's what I call them, the white monsters, because they have a bunch of different ones. They're zero calories, zero sugar, and full of energy. I mean, there is a light at the end of this tunnel, but I'm not done yet. I mean, 122 items is a lot, or 24, whatever it was. Okay, these are new. I have several glass containers that I like to put things in when we're like heating it up, but I do have some plastic ones as well that I like to use for salads and stuff. Um, but several of them, I've had them for so long, I've had to throw them away. So I was looking for some more, and I didn't have these in mind, but I haven't seen these at the Dollar Tree before. And when I saw them, I was like, oh, that's exactly what I'm looking for. So these are by Rubbermaid, which is a name brand. That's one of the best deals that you can find at the Dollar Tree is name brand items for cheaper. These are take-alongs, meal prep containers. It does have a quick click seal and it is one divided rectangle. I did get two of them, one base and one lid, and it holds 3.7 cups. It has a built-in divider to keep food separated. BPA free, it says made in the USA, dishwasher safe, which is amazing, microwavable safe if you do like to use these in the microwave, which I do sometimes, I ain't no shame in my game, and freezer, what? Freezer proof, I like that a lot, just in case I am prepping something ahead of time or if we don't get to something, I can just stick it in here and pop it in the freezer. Yeah, freezer safe, microwave, reheatable, and dishwasher safe, like the three things that you want in a container for your food and for a dollar, I thought that was a great deal. So I'm excited to have two more dishes because I, over the holidays, our lives are completely different. Like it is a crazy chaotic mess in my house. I love it, but when it's over, it's like a big deep sigh and I'm ready to get my life back in order. I like to meal prep. I like to do that every single week and I like to have some sort of system going on, whereas there's not during the holidays. It's just crazy. So. Needed some more of these and hopefully that'll get me inspired to do some more meal prepping and get back into that game. Speaking of meal prepping, um, I just recently shared a meal prep video. That was one thing you guys requested for me to start sharing again. I have done some in the past and then like I said, the holidays, I just took a step back a little bit because it was just too chaotic. So I'm trying to get back into that and I had a lot of questions on where I get my containers that I store my produce in. And that's the Dollar Tree. I love them from the Dollar Tree. They're a dollar. They last a fairly long time. I did pick up two new ones because it was my bad. I was a little rough on one and the lid completely cracked. I mean, you gotta be a little delicate with these. These are good on the top rack of the dishwasher. I've been doing that forever and they don't melt or anything. Do not put them on the bottom. Lessons learned, don't do that. But these are great in the dishwasher on the top rack. They last for a very long time but don't stack heavy things on top of them because they will crack. <laughs> the lids themselves are not super durable. You just gotta be careful. So I did pick up two new ones, but I wanted to mention that the these, and I know everybody who watches these videos don't watch the meal prep videos, but I always get questions and it's the Dollar Tree. I get these containers from the Dollar Tree and I love them. Okay, with spring right around the corner, I am definitely already in spring cleaning mode. When we moved into this house, I did I did not do a deep clean, but I did like a thorough over all over the house clean, but I needed to do a deep clean because there's some nooks and crannies in this house that have not been touched. Like they were not cleaned when the homeowners moved out before they put the house on the market. They are dirty. Like they're bad. I'm almost embarrassed at some of the sections of the house. So um, I did get a pack of the Dollar Tree. Is this the Dollar Tree brand Scrub Buddies or is this like its own brand just cheaper? It says Greenbrier. So Dollar Tree brand. These work just as well as Magic Eraser. It's a two pack. So I went ahead and got that for a couple different areas of the house. But I, I think I'm going to do a series on that. I think I'm going to bring you guys along with that if you're interested in like some deep cleaning. I know there's a lot of like motivational, like weekly clean, monthly clean type things, but my house, I just, I need to clean the things that you don't think of that you need to clean. Like just go room by room and 
on all over like just clean it like just one room at a time maybe even one room a week so I'm not crazy cleaning but that's my thought process for that found the pink napkins <laughs> for Valentine's Day there's 20 in here these are the normal size napkins I was like oh these are luncheon napkins they're normal they're normal size napkins so I got these to go with our table set up for the day uh, another thing that I picked up to keep in my purse um, was this essential blends armor all it is called a car air freshener but on the and on the back it says destroys odors like food pets smoke However, I thought this would be good to have like when we're traveling and stuff, you know how sometimes you go into a bathroom and it's just nasty, like it smells gross. I don't know, I thought this might help, <laughs> especially for my kids. Like sometimes we'll walk into a public bathroom and they're just like, oh, I can't. So I don't know, I just thought this would be something that might help. It says last up to 65 sprays. This was the only scent, but I like this type of scent. And it is citrus pomegranate. So it says essential oils blend on the go car travel or home so i picked that up then i picked up some pins and originally i picked up one for each of my three younger kids but then i found a different one for my son Bryce. so the third one i'm just going to tuck away for another time but i thought these were super cute they are green briar so they are dollar tree brand and they are Spirit Animal Express It Pin. And it's like those fortune pins. Like you click and he says a different thing. So that's what these do. I don't know, maybe I'll give both to Bryce. Since, you know, the girls, I always pick up more things for them anyway. So I'm pretty sure that's a llama. Or some, I don't know. I mean, it, it sort of looks like a llama. Oh, it's totally a llama. It says save the drama for your llama down here. So I got the llama for Pearl. I got the unicorn for Rose and it says born to be a unicorn simply magical so I wonder if they all say this, these same things that it says nap all day sleep all night or if they say just the two things that it shows for the animals I'm not sure collect all three so these are the only three five years and up it's black ink and then this is a sloth that I picked up for Bryce and the sloth says already said it nap all day sleep all night so I had these in my cart and then like a couple aisles later so I already had things on top of these I couldn't take the sloth out and put it back I found this one and I know my son Bryce would like this this is a novelty pen five years and up and it's a maze pen they had a couple different colors I almost picked up the orange and pink for pearl also but I just don't think that they would get a kick out of this as much as Bryce would and it is a I can't even I can't find the ball to show you but there's a little ball in there and the actual handle of the pin I just popped something out oh it was this is a maze so you just like move the pin around and get the ball going down the maze I thought that was fun how cute is that I thought this would be so cute for here in the office it says when life gives you lemons make something sweet and this is the same print that they had on the placemats like I have a whole lemon tablescape that I'm going to put together this summer I have a couple different ideas and this is the same print on it so I'll be able to use this as some table decor later on but for now it's going to go in the office and I just fell in love I thought it was super cute like some of their home decor items they are on the smaller side so it really depends on where you put where you're putting them like I wouldn't put this on my like tv mantle or somewhere that's a little bigger that you need like bigger pieces and stuff but for small areas like here in the office just tucked away in little nooks and crannies I think the Dollar Tree has really good home decor for super cheap and it is really pretty okay and I got another game that's actually back so this is 12 and up but I think my younger kids would enjoy it too so if you guys are new four children my oldest is 15 going on 16 my second born my only son he just turned nine in January and then we have twins Rose and Pearl who turned seven in November so just a few months ago but I think that they would enjoy this as well I think it just depends on what the choices are but it's called either this or that the game of hilarious predicaments hours of side splitting fun crazy choices so on here it says be able to shower once a year 
or be able to brush your teeth once a year. I don't know, I think that would be fun to play with the kids, all the ages of the kids. On the back, here's another um, card that's in here. Either have overly large hands or have very, very small feet. I don't know, I just think this was funny. So picked that up to put in our stash. And this kind of thing is great for car rides. Like if you're in a car for a long time, I mean, as long as you're not the only adult in the car driving. If like the whole family is going somewhere, uh, if I'm sitting in the passenger seat or something, I feel like I could read these and then everybody can still participate and it'll make that distance seem a lot more small. Okay, so I did get more Easter items. I am such a liar. <laughs> I guess I only picked up one thing. However, I don't look at these as Easter items. I look at these as craft items that I like to have on hand for a rainy days for when my kids are just going bonkers and they need something to do. We pull out of the bin, which is actually very, very small now. My girls, Rose and Pearl, do so many arts and crafts. It's crazy how many things they go through. That's why I pick up a lot of stuff. So. I got two of these yarn craft kits. I thought they were really cute and I think the girls would love to do these and then keep them in their room on their little desks. And it's just little bunnies. So it says two kit, two kit, does it make two? Oh, well snap, I didn't need to make, pick up two. Maybe it makes two then, yeah, two a kit. So we got two pink bunnies, well that's awesome. So I'll have like an extra one on hand. And then two white bunnies. Their favorite thing to do is paint. Like they love to paint. So they had a couple different options, but I did go ahead and just pick up the same one. Just two of them. Side note, sometimes these paints are completely dried out. Like you are not paying a dollar. Like these, when you can see through them, I bet those are dried out but we have a lot of paint on hand and they like to sometimes use their own colors anyway. So you're really your dollar is for the canvas and the little stand <laughs> and the paintbrush, although they use their own paintbrushes anyway. So just keep that in mind. If you guys are buying these art kits, make sure you have some paint at home so your kid doesn't go to do this. They open it up and they can't paint because the paint is dry. That has happened more times than not for these. So went ahead and got this one. I thought that was really cute with the bunny and the flowers. And I don't know if they are too old for these or not, but I went ahead and picked them up. And then if they tell me, mom, this is boring, it's no fun, that I won't pick these up anymore and I might pass these along to some friends and family that have younger kids in, in their family. So these are paint with water. I love these, like, because no paint. It's easier to clean up, but I do feel like my girls are probably getting over it. They're outgrowing it. But this one's so cute. Look at that. It's full of little fairies. It's called Butterbeans Cafe. I'm guessing this is a show on Nickelodeon. We don't have cable. So I don't know, but it looks really cute. And all you need is a paintbrush and water. It's already got like these little dots on here are little paint. So when you add your water, it fills it in. So this whole star will become blue. I don't know, I just, I love these just because the cleanup is easier. And it comes with a lot for your money. Like look how many things the kids get to paint for a dollar and all you need is water. And one thing I like to use with these outside of paintbrushes, I feel like Q-tips work really good with these. Okay, and then I got this one, and this one is princess themed. So, there's a mermaid. There's a girl. She has a princess. Oh, here we go. There's like a Cinderella. Rapunzel. I mean, super cute. These are way bigger than the fairy one. So, and this one's just an off brand, but I picked these up and we'll see, the girls will have to let me know if they're too old for those or not. Okay, definitely got a lot of art stuff. Like I said, like my bin was empty, so I stocked up the Dollar Tree, had a lot in regards to this kind of stuff. All right, this is like a name brand also. I feel like this would be a lot more if you found them online or in the store, uh, like, a, in, like a Walmart or something, or Michaels I think sells this brand. But this is Alex Spa. These are layer and wear watercolor tattoos. So you make your own combination. Let me show you on the back. So it has the watercolors and then the tattoos. Well, they're, they're all tattoos, but you put the watercolor down first and then you put the icon. Oh my gosh, my mind is just going blank on what I want to call those. You put 
the picture on top of the watercolor and it just looks really, really pretty. So I got those for the girls. And then these ones are 3D illusion tattoos. So it looks like they're actual, that's cool. Like the butterfly, they have shadows around them. So it looks like it's actual, I mean, it's realistic looking, an optical illusion. So I thought that was cool and would be fun. Okay, I wanna say this is the last of the arts and crafts stuff and then we have a few more things, but who knows? Who knows? All right, I picked up every single kind they had for these. I love these for the car. However, if you live in a hot state like I do, don't leave them in your car because the crayons will melt. I've done that before. Um, but I like to put these in my purse when I know I'm going somewhere with the kids and then I will just try to remember to take them out of my purse when I get home. So these are all Crayola. They're super cute. Normally these little play packs have like a coloring book or some kind of activity book. These ones are like little pop out things that they could play with afterwards, which I love. So I got the Sloth Love Llamas one, and then it comes with some pop out, how many? Three, three pop out characters, one sticker sheet, and four crayons. So that's the Sloths and the Llamas. This one is Food for Thought. So it's got a bunch of food items in there. This one is The Trouble with T-Rex. So it's more of the dinosaur themed. And then this one is Strange Safari. So it's got a bunch of different animals in it. Okay, I mentioned my dad's birthday is this month. So I did pick him up a card and I can share this with y'all because he doesn't watch my videos. <laughs> so I wanted to share this just so you guys could see the type of cards that are at the Dollar Tree. So this one is a Hallmark card, Expressions by Hallmark. So does it tell me the price? $3.89 if I were to buy this at like Walmart or Target, which is typically where I buy my cards if I'm not at the Dollar Tree. So it says, for my father, it's hard to put into words just how grateful I am for you, how much it means to have a father like you in my life. I love the front of it. And then on the inside, it says, but I hope you know I mean all these things and more when I say thanks for everything and have a wonderful birthday. I love picking out cards. I, I always tend to go for the more like mushy ones versus comedy ones. I don't know. What kind of card person are you? Or do you even hand out cards? I know. I am a person that tosses my cards. I hold on to them for like a week, two weeks. I keep some of them. Like I keep all of the ones that y'all have sent me. I have a huge bin of them. But for the most part, for like birthday cards from friends and families, I throw them away. Do you guys keep them? I mean, I display them for a little bit and then I toss them. Don't come for me. Okay, I picked up some candles and I rarely get excited about candles now from the Dollar Tree. I mean, I know I got a lot in my last haul because my stash was going low and my daughter Paige has started to burn candles as well. So we're going through them much more quickly. But the Dollar Tree, I feel like they have the same ones out all the time. So these ones are new and they actually smelled really, really good. This is one that I did get for Paige. I'm going to put it away and probably save it for Easter. But I love how simple and really pretty it looked. So it just has a gold top and it is a one wick, which most of these smaller ones are. And it just smells so good. Like I don't even know what that smells like because my allergies are still growing crazy, but I can smell it, which is a good thing because on top of allergies, if I can smell something, it means at least on cold sniff, it's pretty strong. But that smells really good, almost like a cologne type of smell. Not like strong men's cologne, but just a really good fragrant perfume scent. But it's called Aqua Surf. So I love the look of that for Paige's room and I like the smell. And then these ones are so cute. Like, oh my, they are super cute. So I thought, I'm not gonna keep these in, actually I might keep them in their bathroom, but I'm not going to keep a lighter up there or anything like that. But I got these for my girls Rose and Pearl. So they have a Jack and Jill bathroom. They share a toilet and a bathtub shower combo, but they have their own sinks on within their own rooms. If you guys have seen my home tour, you know exactly how it, it goes, how it flows. But they have been asking to have candles in their room and I'm like, uh, no, you're seven. Like, no, that's just not happening. But when I'm in their room, 
I thought I would start pulling out a candle and lighting it while I am in there only with them. Um, and maybe not in their room, but like in their bathroom, maybe when they're taking a bath or when they are like getting ready for n at night for bed, I'll pull out the candle and light it. Just a little bit of relaxation for them. Then I saw these at the Dollar Tree and I was like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and pick them up and then we'll see if we start lighting candles or not. But they are just, oh, oh my gosh, they're so cute. I love them. So they are all three soy candles. They're three ounces. This one says ice cream on it and it has ice cream all over it and it smells like ice cream. Oh, like it smells straight up like birthday ice cream. So good. Like you walk into Stone Cold Creamery. That's a big ice cream place here. Oh, it smells so good. This one, let me make sure I'm holding it the right way, is cupcake. And it has cupcakes all over it. I love how small they are too. And it smells straight up like, wait a minute. My allergies are really getting to me. Uh, like, uh, like vanilla chocolate mixed almost actually. Yeah, like vanilla and chocolate together. A marbled cupcake. That's what that smells like. And then, and then, donut. Like, I mean, how cute are these little jars? I, I love them. I saw them and I was like, eh. And then I was like, all right. They asked, we're gonna try it out. And that smells straight up like a cupcake. Like a glazed, I mean not a cupcake, a donut. Like a glazed donut from Krispy Kreme. That's what that smells like. So I picked those up. I'm excited. Hopefully it'll work out. And also for their bathroom, um, I do you guys put decor in your bathroom? I wasn't going to until I went to the Dollar Tree <laughs> and they had all this mermaid stuff and I just couldn't help myself. I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. So I actually picked up two of them because I could not decide which color I liked more. The pearl color or the gray and it's a mermaid tail how cute it's actually a really good size also so i picked up both of them and i don't know if i'm gonna have these out like as a decor piece in their vanity areas with their sink or in the bathroom like on a shelf over their toilet or near their shower i don't know if i can put a shelf there if that would be like too close i don't know yet probably above the toilet um, but I don't know if I will use both of them. Maybe if I put two shelves, I'm not sure yet, but I couldn't decide on the color, so I picked up both of them. If I don't use both, I will put one in my donation box. It was only a dollar. I'll donate it. Somebody else can get some use out of it. But I thought those were super cute, and I just, I mean, they had to come home with me. And then let me unbox these. She put them all together, but you don't get all of these for a dollar, so I don't wanna confuse anybody. So these are great pieces to use as decor especially if you are trying to add some height to an area. So I went ahead and got all of them. I don't want to open this one yet. I mean, I guess I could. This one has two in it. So these two small ones, like a mini one and a small one. Can I open this? Scissors. Scissors. Okay. These two small ones were wrapped together. So it was a dollar for both. They were 50 cents each. I'll pick that trash up later. It's just on the floor for now. I will get it. So you get these two for a dollar. I love how pretty they are. They had three, two or three other kinds, but these ones just stood out to me. I'm going to ask my daughter Paige if she wants any of these first before I decide where I want to put them because she has a lot of cactus um, decor in her room and her bathroom. So if she needs any storage boxes, but I did get those two and then I saw these two as well so here's the whole collection actually i don't know if there's another one i feel like there should be another size in between this one and this one maybe i don't know but here's the whole collection these two for a dollar but this was a dollar by itself and this was a dollar by itself but for three bucks i don't feel like that was too bad so i got those as well again to add some height as decor and then i can hide some office things in there or if my daughter Paige needed them. But I know I'll use them somewhere. I just really, really liked how pretty they were. You can also use these for gifts if you're gifting something on the smaller side or using it to bulk up an Easter basket, something like that. I just think they were really cute and I love the colors in them. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me, that you got your snack in or you put it on a higher speed and you got some work done around the house while I just chit chatted with you, shared some items that I found from the Dollar Tree. If you guys like these kind of videos, give them a big thumbs up. I definitely do not share them as often as during the end of the year, probably just once a month from here on out. But if you guys do uh, like them, definitely hit that subscribe button and the bell so you're notified whenever I do upload one. Other than that, I share a lot of just my life, things that I'm doing in the house, cooking, cleaning, hauls, decorating, all sorts of stuff here on my channel. And hopefully that inspires you in some form of your life as a stay at home mom. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.